Assumption School, located in Madro, the capital of the Republic of the Marshall Islands, was established as an elementary school by Reverend Leonard Hacker, S.J., in 1954. When Father Hacker decided to build a larger church in 1971, parents approached him and asked him to start a high school. Father Hacker then delayed the building of the new church and started Assumption High School in 1972. In 2012, the two schools became one. It is one of the oldest private K-12 institutions in the Republic of the Marshall Islands. It has a diverse population of students and teachers from different ethnic backgrounds. In 1958, the school had a band that was first initiated and directed by Father Hacker. Uh, back then, there were only boys that were in the band. Us girls, we didn't, we didn't join the band. But the band would travel. They would go to Kwajalein, they would go to, and they would be invited by the military and then they would talk on Kwajalein. We used to put a lot of uh, military marching band music. What they used to do, what, you know, like every, like midnight, Christmas midnight, they would go around the island in a truck or in a some kind, you know, and they would play, you know, that would, I guess that was, that would be a concert. They would go on the back of some truck or something and they would play the music, like Christmas carol. Yeah. Since then, the band has been the focal point for the school and the Madro community. The ban was discontinued in the early 1980s when Father Hacker had left. In 2014, the school had revived the ban after three decades of its absence. Assumption School is known for having a ban and now a music program. It is the only K-12 school that has a music program in Micronesia with a solid foundation. Just putting the word out there, and so that's how we got Ms. Ashley to come. She saw our ad. I responded to that ad, um, and most of the first day was going to different classrooms and introducing myself. We do all kinds of activities. In general music, which is mostly kindergarten through fifth grade, we do a lot of singing, we do a lot of movement and dance. We also learn about basic rhythms and the beginnings of reading music, uh, like quarter notes and whole notes. Uh, we play the bells. We also play in fourth and fifth grade, they start to learn recorders or song flute. Um, and then in the middle school years, we do the same thing, mostly in the first semester, but we just start transitioning uh, to instruments um, in the second semester them for high school band. We got the instruments almost entirely from, excuse me, donations. Um, many of the donations have been from the United States. Uh, some are from Canada. Some are from right here um, in Madro and in the Marshall Islands. Um, but almost exclusively with the exception of uh, maybe a few uh, small percussion items. We've had almost every single instrument donated. The school has not had to spend too much money on this program. Uh, well, typical band and percussion day usually consists of, we do a couple various warm-ups for about 15 to 30 minutes. And then we usually have something that we're preparing for, like a concert or some kind of performance. Um, but we work on building technique, advancing our skills, working technical facility, whether that's with our fingers or sticking. Um, we're learning about reading different rhythms or advanced music. Um, but most of the time we are preparing for some sort of performance, whether it's at school or What I can say about each of the performances is that it's been a showcase of our talents as we've grown. Um, our first concert, we did not have enough instruments for everybody, but we made it work. Uh, we just took turns. 
So everybody got a chance to show off what they had learned in class and show off their new musical skills. Each one, as we've grown, our audiences have gotten bigger, our kids have gotten bigger, our instrumentation has gotten uh, larger and more varied, and uh, this next concert that we have coming up in April, as it's March currently, um, is going to be even better. And I know that our May and our final performance for graduation this year is going to be some of the best performances that we've had in our two years. Well, I've only performed for the president one time in my life, and that would be here in the Marshall Islands. a band like it used to be, like when Father Hatler was here and when he had the band for the school. So I guess, I mean, I saw the band marching back then and so that's what I see now happening as so, I see students being there and, and uh, doing as best as they could and that's how we anticipated the band to be, you know, like a marching band. My message to my band students, if I had to sum it all up, is probably the same thing I've been saying since the first day, which is music is a lifelong learning experience along with the rest of school. And 
while musicianship and everything, but that's the medium that I teach through. But whether they decide they want to pursue music after college or into college, or if they never touch an instrument again, my hopes for my students are that they take with them all the character values that we've learned, like cooperation and teamwork, um, family values, um, having faith, working hard, um, being independent, but also working with other people. So the character values are what I hope that my students take with them. That's my message to them. Um, and while we do that through music here, um, you know, and hopefully their kids can continue to do it through music when they have children and have families, but I hope that even if they never touch another instrument or participate in music in this way again, that they remember the things that we've done human to human.